Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Christine. So today we are in a slightly different location. I'm actually in Big Bear with some of my girlfriends. I am vlogging, so I'll probably be up after this video, but you guys love my last clean girl makeup look, so I thought I would do something very similar. But this time, spice it up a little bit, and we're gonna use a full face of Kosas. They have a new foundation that I'm excited to try out. I also have been loving their concealers, and I have this monstrosity that I'm gonna show you my little hack for how I cover it up. So if you haven't subscribed, I would love if you hit that button. I post a new video every Tuesday and Thursday. If you guys like me and you like my content, hit the subscribe button. So anyways, let's dive right in. So I'm actually going to start with the brows because I feel like I usually like doing my eye makeup first and I haven't really given these brow products a fair chance. So I think I'm gonna start with the clear brow gel. I've been loving the laminated brow look lately. So if you guys don't know um, what Kosas is, they are kind of like a clean makeup brand at Sephora. And I feel like they've been kind of going through a rebrand because a lot of their old packaging used to be like this black and white, but now they're incorporating more fun colors into their packaging. But anyways, I'm adding some of this brow gel, but it kind of feels like there's not enough like product on here and I'm really used to my ABH brow freeze where it just feels like a thick wax that pushes all of my hairs up but this one doesn't really feel like it's doing anything. You can see there's a slight difference between the two of them. This one, there's a little bit of definition but it's not really doing a whole lot as far as like pushing my hairs up. So I also have the tinted version so I feel like I might finish off with this one and see if it helps like stick my brows up. Let's just do one brow at a time so you can kind of see the difference. And then I'm gonna go in with this little brow pencil, the packaging, so cute. Also, if you hear a lot of noises, everyone is upstairs, so that's their footstep. This is the Brow Pop in the shade Black Brown, and it kind of has like triangle pencil tip. Okay, I'm now using the spoolie on the other end just to kind of brush it up. And now I can feel there's like a little bit of stiffness in my brows. Definitely a subtle brow look, it doesn't look like anything crazy how that brow looks. Not a huge difference. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other brow. Okay, brows are all done. See, kind of near the front of my brows, I feel like it's a little bit too dark and harsh. I really like this brow pencil because it's a good amount of pigment. It's not too much and not too little, but I just feel like with this triangle tip, it's really hard to get like a really natural feathery look, at least for me. So now I'm going in with the air brow and this is in the tinted color and I'm just gonna kind of finish off the brows and kind of help place all the little brow hairs. Okay, so those are the finished brows. I'm not mad at that. Next, I'm gonna quickly throw on some mascara. I actually truthfully don't like the Kosas mascara and I've since then tossed it from my collection so I no longer have it. But I'll pop a picture of it here. Honestly, for me, it really weighed down my lashes and it smudged really bad on my under eyes. So it just didn't work out for me. I'm gonna apply both of these. This is Maybelline the Falsies Waterproof Mascara as like my first coat and then my Rare Beauty Mascara. And I do have a video about how I keep my straight lashes curled that I'll link right here. So I'm gonna do this really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so lashes are all done. Let's move on to the face makeup. I'm actually really excited to try this new foundation because I love the concealer and if it's anything like this, I think I'm gonna love this. So this is the Kosas Revealing Skin Improving Foundation SPF 25. I have two different colors with me. I have medium pan neutral, olive 260. This one looks like it would be a good undertone. It's like really yellow and olive. And then I have medium warm 240. So I don't know, I feel like in the lighting, it looks really yellow, but actually in real life, it looks like it might match. I think I'm gonna use the medium warm 240 right here. So packaging of this foundation is really clean and chic. It looks just like a super sized version of the foundation, but it actually is a pump, which is really nice. And it says it is your dream skin revealed, formulated with hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, peptides, and squalene, caffeine, so many other ingredients. So it seems like there's a lot of skincare benefits. So let's see, I have really oily acne prone skin. So let's just use one pump.
Now that it's blended out, the color match actually is really pretty and it gives kind of a light sheer coverage. I was actually a little bit worried about the color, but it sheared out really nicely and blended really nicely into the skin. And I feel like on this half of my face, it almost makes my face look dewier. I am in Big Bear with the girls and we're here celebrating Rachel's 30th birthday. So we're here for I think about four days. Okay, so that looks really good. It blended out really easily and I feel like the finish looks very natural. It makes my skin look really dewy. So I really like that. So all I can look at right now though is this blemish. It's driving me nuts. I'm gonna show you guys how I cover it up. So I have the two Kosas concealers here. Okay, so the shade is 05W. Kind of like a lighter shade than me. It has like yellow peachy undertones. And then this one is 5.5. So you could see it's a little bit more of a like yellow undertone and 05 is a little bit peachier. So I think I wanna use the one that's more yellow on my blemish. And then I'm gonna use a peachier undertone under my eyeballs. Okay, so the key here, this concealer actually is really lightweight and gives kind of like light to medium coverage, but I prefer my concealers to have a little bit more coverage. So hack for me is if I want a little bit more coverage out of the makeup concealer that I'm using, I'll let it sit on the skin and kind of like marinate. So if I have any blemishes, I'll let this one sit for like one to two minutes to really kind of almost set and then I'm lightly blending so that way we kind of get the coverage. So we can start blending out the chin area because I don't need too much coverage down here and then just blend the rest. But we're gonna leave this one to really marinate for a little bit. And see how like instantly brightening that is? This placement also helps to really lift the eye without having so much product that it looks cakey because we don't want that. I forgot, Kosas actually has a new sponge that came with the launch as well and I totally forgot. Oh, okay, next time. If you guys want a more in-depth review on that, let me know. Maybe I can do a little shorts on it, but the sponge is from e.l.f. That's all blended. I'm gonna go in with a buffing brush and really buff out any of the concealer just so that it doesn't look cakey. Cause sometimes I feel like sponges are really good for making your makeup look super natural and like skin-like, but sometimes it doesn't get like a really flawless blend, you know? Okay, so this blemish is pretty covered, but we need a little bit more, okay? So we're just picking up a little bit more concealer like that, and I'm just gonna let it sit. Okay, now what I do is I'll take my sponge and almost like really lightly just kind of tap it out so it's not too much product, and then I'll go in with a brush and use this to really blur out all of the edges and make sure it's really seamless. Now, it looks like that. You can see like up close, it's not quite even with the rest of the skin, but once we apply powder, it's really gonna look like really natural. So you can see that coverage, especially with a lighter coverage concealer. This is a great way to cover up like blemishes and get a little bit more coverage. Okay, next thing I'm gonna use is this Kosas Cloud Set Powder. I really enjoy this. This is in the shade Comfy. I know a lot of dry skin gals really like this. I have really oily skin, so I feel like it's almost too lightweight for me and doesn't do a whole lot but it's great for those like more natural, lighter coverage days. So I'm just picking up a little bit of this powder and like patting it on that blemish. Again, I feel like the patting motion is great because it doesn't move too much makeup, so. And then we're actually gonna go in with some cream products. I have a, another revealer concealer in the shade 8.7, so this is obviously too deep for me, but I'm gonna use this kind of contour. And this is a great little hack, especially if you are new to cream bronzers and cream contouring. Concealers sometimes are really easy to work with and especially this one, it's so lightweight and the coverage is pretty sheer that I feel like it's almost hard to mess up. And see that difference? This brush, by the way, is the Sigma Duo Fiber F15 brush. And then while I'm blending this, I'm kind of trying to avoid the little blemish area because I don't want to wipe off the work that we did earlier. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I feel like my skin looks really healthy and pretty. Next, we'll go in with the cream blush, and this is actually a blush and highlighter duo. This is in the shade Velvet Melon, and it's a brand new palette. So I feel like the shade might be too light on me. Subtle, but really pretty on the skin, and I kind of gave up on this blemish. So like in the middle of my face, we'll just have to address that later. And then I'm gonna go in with this highlighter shade. I kind of just hit the high points. Oh, that's so pretty. 
Okay, now I'm going in and setting the rest of my makeup. I'm just gonna apply this powder like all over because I have really oily skin. If I don't set it, it's not gonna last. And what's nice about the setting powder is I feel like it does have a really soft blurring effect and it makes my skin look like pretty poreless and smooth, which is really pretty. I'm gonna finish with the bronzer. This is the shade medium golden bronze and I actually used it so much that the lid has popped off. I really enjoy this. I wish the compacts came with a mirror inside, but the packaging is very aesthetic and cute. These bronzers are great because they're baked, so I feel like it gives me a really glowy, bronzy look. Okay, now I am gonna finish up. I have these little eyeshadows from Kosas. I think this is their 10 second eyeshadow, but they repackaged them, so it's like this really cute purple packaging. I have the shade Simmer, and then I have the shade Blaze. And I feel like over my eyes, I just want something pretty. But I really like this shade, but I think I wanna do this. I don't know, should I do both? Let's just try both. I'm gonna use the shade Blaze all over. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, lightly blended out. This looks really pretty. I went ahead and did the other eye and it's almost like a bronzy taupe color and it's really cute. So now I'm gonna use the shade Simmer and I think I'm just gonna put a little bit in the inner corner. Oh, that's really pretty from the side. I feel like it just helps brighten up the eyes so much. Okay, finishing up with the lips. I have two lippies here from Kosas and they have this like lipstick. This is in the shade Undone. This would actually be my first time trying this. I feel like this is really pink and I want something a little bit more sheer. So I'm gonna go in with this Kosas Sport lip balm and this is in the shade Flow. And these are really pretty because it's gonna help add just a little bit of color to the lips, but a lot of hydration too. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with one of these lip oils. I love these and Kosas actually came out with plumping ones. So this is the shade Unhooked and then I have the shade Unbuttoned. And they're both honestly pretty similar. The first one is a little bit lighter. So let's go in with this last one, Unbuttoned. So this is the finished look. I feel like my skin is very, very glowy. And normally I would probably want to add probably like a deeper cream blush just to bring a little bit more colors to my eyes and maybe a little bit of a liner moment. But the foundation is really pretty. I'm curious to see how long it's gonna last on the skin. But so far the coverage is beautiful. The finish is really like glowy and lightweight. So I think if you have normal to dry skin, you're really gonna like this. I have really oily skin, so I feel like I'm already looking too oily and I need to put powder everywhere but yeah this is the finished look let me take you by the window okay by the window this is the look you can see there's a lot more color to the skin it's really pretty I love the concealers that's probably one of my favorite products from Kosas and the brows look really good I feel like they look a little bit more natural than I normally do it but if that's your vibe I think you'd love that I prefer a little bit more of a like waxy laminated look but it was pretty easy to get this look the eyeshadows were amazing so easy to blend out. I love the lip gloss. I pop it in my bag all the time and I feel like it's super comfortable, but you guys know I'm a huge fan of Kosas. I love their makeup. I love that it's clean at Sephora and I feel like their packaging is very fun and really cute. So. Hello friends, so it is actually the end of the day and I was just gonna wash my face off, but I figured let's do a quick little wear test. This is the makeup. The skin looks really good. I haven't really blotted or touched my face all day. There's like a little bit of cakiness around the nose area, but the rest of the skin actually looks really good. I'm not super oily or greasy or anything like that. And my blush pretty much stayed all day. The blemish stayed covered. So this foundation actually, I'm a huge fan of. Color match actually matched me really nicely as well. And I was a little bit worried because I did look ultra, ultra dewy. So I added a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury powder in like my T-zone area. So I feel like that helped with the staying powder of this. If you're oily like me, definitely set it, but I'm actually really impressed with the way that it looks. I'll go ahead and link all the products that I talked about down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I actually really liked the way that it turned out. So let me know what you guys want to see next down below in the comments, but I will see you all in the next video. Bye.